selected the first uh, two days. Uh, I was in Isabella and then in Pampanga Monday and Tuesday, so I did not have a holiday. Uh, but uh, certainly, I uh, I uh, have been looking forward to coming here at Camp uh, Rame and uh, to, uh, in particular, to uh, uh, give you a gift, which is the uh, menu calendar. When Superintendent uh, Nakamo was saying that it is uh, timely, I thought she meant it's already February, so we didn't come into January uh, menu. But uh, there are still uh, uh, 11 months to go, so you will still uh, uh, make good use of our menu calendar. Now, um, well, uh, I have made some visits to uh, Camp Rame. Let me just uh, enumerate to you the occasions when I was here. Uh, during the time of my retirement, I retired from 2014 up to 2016. When I did 65 to 2014, I retired. And uh, I had uh, taken up uh, uh, some uh, jobs, okay? So I was a public advisor at BAP for those who were taking the uh, middle, uh, how do you call it, the middle management course, which leads to a master in development management. And uh, one of my advice is, uh, was a, an officer in charge of, uh, uh, I think he was involved in procurement, particularly uh, the setting up of police stations. You know, well, his his uh, entry plan was on uh, on the postings, you know? so he was, uh, uh, I still remember his name, uh, Dan, but I can't recall the family name, but uh, he uh, was uh, proposing that the cost estimates should not be standard nationwide because there are places where the uh, uh, cost of materials vary. Okay? Anyway, that was a very good uh, uh, project. So when uh, he presented it to the officials, I was invited. So uh, it was a very uh, nice ceremony also uh, to present his uh, entry plan for project. I was also here on some occasions of the Grand Laboratory, uh, not, not really to do work, but uh, as uh, an active member of the Philippine Institute of Chemical Engineers, having been your uh, president before, uh, we have a uh, uh, chapter, a Philippine, uh, Philippine Institute of Chemical Engineering chapter here at the Grand uh, Laboratory of PNP. So they always attend our uh, uh, conventions and uh, Sometimes we hold the meetings here in the in the uh, in the kind of laboratory. Then, uh, of course, uh, there were wakes that I have attended in the mortuary. Okay, so I uh, I had a um, co alumnus who was I think a an attaché in Canada who passed away. So that was the most uh, recent. Now, uh, of course, uh, coming to a health service is not uh, new to me. Uh, my wife worked with the UP Health Service, so I was always at the health service, uh, <laughs> fetching hair or uh, uh, having some uh, meals with hair. But uh, really, I think uh, uh, our uh, project here that is uh, having a menu type for men in the uniform, of course, this is not gender sensitive, it's men and women in uniform. <laughs> Uh, but uh, really, I think it's a very good opportunity. We have been uh, looking forward to, uh, uh, shall we say, devote or uh, offer some of our uh, services at the Department of Science and Technology to other national agencies. Okay, so uh, just to name of you, a few, uh, maybe I, I, I should share with you that uh, there are many nine agencies that are also uh, collaborating with us, okay? So uh, maybe the, the biggest collaborator is the Department of Health because uh, we are covered by ELO that uh, the research agenda that we will undertake uh, should be the same as the Department of Health and should be uh, implemented in coordination with us. So uh, DOH, for example, uh, practically passes on to us their research and development budget for decision making on how it will be uh, used. So, uh, yung mga projects na uh, namin na related to uh, health, okay, eh, yun e ina agree jointly ng DOH and uh, DOST. Uh, of course, more recently, 
other uh, partnerships have been uh, developed and uh, I am all, I'm proud to mention this because it has not happened before. Okay, So we now have the Department of uh, Public Works uh, co-funding some of our uh, researches. Uh, for example, the uh, research on uh, on uh, the monitoring of the health of bridges and public infrastructures. This is really in preparation or uh, to, to, to make sure that we are ready for earthquakes because we cannot predict the earthquakes uh, unlike uh, uh, typhoons which we can forecast, but uh, uh, the best that we can do is to make sure that our structures, particularly the uh, uh, what we call the critical ones, uh, should be uh, prepared. And the bridges are the most, uh, shall we say, vulnerable. Uh, if uh, the bridges will collapse, then uh, we will uh, lose, lose uh, connectivity with one another. And uh, so this project actually uh, funded by the DPWH, around 21 million funding uh, uh, support from them. Of course, we are putting also our own money. Uh, is uh, co-implemented with the Philippine Institute of Technology and Mapua University. Mapua is the one developing the locally made instruments uh, uh, that will be installed in bridges and in uh, public buildings which have uh, uh, a high density of occupants, you know, like hospitals, okay, and even uh, schools, okay. But uh, uh, on Monday when I was in uh, Isabela, I uh, was uh, pleasantly surprised that the uh, project that we are implementing is also covering uh, the structures at uh, Magat Dam and Pantabangan uh, Dam. So it's not only the bridges but also the, the dams that uh, we have included in our uh, study. Now, uh, uh, another example which is quite related to that would be the uh, uh, project that we have supported and uh, again there are many government agencies that might uh, benefit from this but particularly those involved in infrastructure. So uh, we have been uh, actually uh, uh, putting up uh, 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 real-time monitoring systems in the, in the dams so that the monitoring of water level can uh, be done uh, real-time. Okay, so sanayin pa si yun, sinusukat yun by sounding every uh, uh, half uh, a day, okay? And uh, so that's done manually, but we are uh, installing automatic uh, weather stations uh, that will be uh, connected to a, a communication uh, system that will uh, uh, monitor real time the uh, water level so that uh, they can easily make decisions. Now, um, another example, I'm trying to give examples just to uh, it also encourage you to have your proposals for uh, projects that can be helped to do research and development, uh, which we can support. No? Uh, we are, uh, for example, uh, uh, we have done a project on uh, uh, testing the e trikes, e tricycles, e vehicles, and so we installed the uh, uh, charging systems, battery uh, charge. Uh, and uh, when uh, DOE learned about it, they decided that the, the e-tricycles that we, we will use in the uh, research, they, they donated the e-tricycles in DOE. So uh, there are many. I was asking uh, uh, Superintendent Alvin whether the uh, work of uh, PIDEA related to the analysis of uh, uh, confiscated uh, drugs is uh, done here, but he said that it's they are under the DOAs, they are attached to the DOAs, because we have a very um, uh, sophisticated research now on uh, the analysis of uh, confiscated drugs that will help in identifying where they come from. Okay? Uh, so, pagka nakita mo magkapareho ang analysis, hindi sa aking galingan nyo, and uh, we can compare it with uh, uh, what we have already established are coming from a particular uh, place. So, akala ko dito gagawin yung ano, so hindi pala at uh, Andres ako sinabi. Okay. But uh, really, there are many other uh, areas where we can collaborate and uh, maybe this is a, uh, an open and a challenge to you if uh, there are things that uh, you think are uh, important to be researched on, then uh, we will do it. Now, uh, the other thing is uh, why we are uh, uh, 
uh, devoting this particular calendar to the men in uh, uniform. Okay. Now, uh, I was asking uh, Dr. Kapansana how long we have been uh, putting up this uniform. And uh, uh, he, initially he said about 30 years. So I told him the first time I was assigned to BOSD was in 1982. Meron lang din calendar. So that's 37 years under Dr. Jaime. So, it's a weekend, it's probably around 40 years already that we have been issuing the menu calendars. But uh, uh, more recently, they have been dedicating it to specific uh, sectors. Uh, so, but uh, anyway, kahit naman ito ay 2019, no? pwede naman yung pag-alit ng gamit ito taong taon kasi ang pag-cycle uh, uh, naman ng menu ay eh, halos isang taon. No? So, uh, today, I just make, make a quick look Ay masarap naman yung mga ulam na lang dito and I learned a few new recipes uh, hindi ko alam itong pinamungay ng manok kung saan galing yan na region but when I was looking at it, para siyang pinola pero uh, ang gusto ko dito pakinggan nyo, marinate the chicken in patis o patis at uh, awa favorite ko yun, ako pwede nagagulang ang bulakan hindi ako makakain na walang patis <laughs> Pero bawal niya tayo, Mario. <laughs> so, meron pa dito ng uh, uh, menu na uh, inataang talapasa with uh, tuna. Uh, okay, so, pero masalaya ko na kung hindi nalagay ko lang. Sa uh, buong alamang lang eh. Oo, oh, okay, kaya may masak. Meron din dito ng uh, yung sardinas. Sinasarap. Naalala ko tuloy ng pagkabahag sa refinery ng araw, eh, pero ang kasamahan na, nagsisigang ng sardinas. Hindi ako magpaliwala ay sinisigang ng sardinas. Pero ang natin, ako masarap naman. <laughs> okay, so uh, I think it is going to be useful. But the other thing that was uh, mentioned to me and uh, our superintendent uh, cited about uh, rensing, you know? Uh, ano Internal cleansing, ano? Para siyang, para siyang pangmahal na araw. <laughs> anyway, uh, cleansing, uh, but uh, ang uh, related to that, ang sabi ni Director Kapansana, uh, why we are dedicating this to men in uniform, it was found out that 67% of the men in uniform are overweight. Okay? Uh, Pahilig pa kayo nun. <laughs> Ah, uh, ako eh, 20% overweight. Ako mismo. <laughs> so, I'm sure na talagang totoo. No? Kasi as you gain in age, okay, there is a tendency. Ang metabolism mo, ito mapagal na. So, the, the, the more careful you should be about exercise and about diet. So, yung diet, susunod ko pa, pero yung exercise, okay. Uh, so, personally, I have benefited from this uh, calendar. And two, and uh, just remember that uh, we are here to serve, okay, uh, not only the business or the production sector, uh, but also our colleagues in the public service. And the men in uniform, are, uh, they are definitely a very important, uh, uh, shall we say, group in our uh, public uh, service. Uh, men in uniform like PNP and the Army are the embodiment of uh, law, peace and order and uh, you are our uh, protectors. Uh, you not only uh, project resiliency, but also competence and capability wherever seen by the citizenry. So for this, we salute you because you resonate preparedness, attentiveness, and uh, strength. And uh, maybe to uh, uh, conclude, I just would like to repeat uh, three things that I have learned from uh, the President. Uh, which helps us guide our work at the Department of Science and Technology. Uh, you can just uh, think about it, whether it uh, covers you as a group, but uh, the first one, ang uh, wish ng Pangulo is to reduce <coughs> inequality. Okay? Uh, so, siguro partly that is his, uh, what is in his mind when he's trying to improve the, the benefits of the men in uh, uniform. The second is to create uh, new opportunities. And I don't know how it will be stated in terms of the men in uniform, but uh, we do do research that are intended to, to help create 
new opportunities, particularly in the production uh, sector, and uh, particularly covering the marginalized segments. And uh, the last one is uh, he wants to expand our, uh, shall we say, potentials uh, for growth as a country. And that's why we are also doing uh, research and development that uh, cover very new areas, that cover very high technology areas, because we think that that could be a way of expanding our opportunities uh, for growth. So to all of you, I would like to share the optimism that uh, our country will be uh, moving towards a better situation. Uh, you know, uh, maybe just to share with you my own personal experience, uh, I, I only had two siblings, two, two older sisters, okay? And uh, early on, in the 60s, they migrated to the U.S. And I graduated in 1969. Most of my classmates in engineering migrated because it was not uh, difficult to go to the U.S. or to Canada at that time. And uh, uh, I stayed on you know, with all the hopes that the country will improve. After 10 years, we will be improved. But uh, I still have that hope. And uh, from 69 to today is 50 years. And uh, I still keep on hoping, and I share with you my optimism, that we will uh, go towards a better situation and improve the lives of our fellow. Thank you very much for. Thank you.